How's it going, guys? Welcome back to the greater good. Just finished our training, wailing on this cow. Oh, Junior, you loser. I just made up a word. Floop. Oh my god, why did we even talk to this guy? It's really hard to pronounce, though. Try it. Floop. Nope, that's wrong. Ugh. Well, I hope we genuinely never see you again, man. You're just miserable. <laughs> I've, I've had enough of you forever. We we're just gonna end that relationship now. Never gonna get to know each other any better than that. Marco's farm, beware of beautiful cow. I don't know if he was that beautiful. Depends, depends if you're into that whole punk rock thing. Some might enjoy it. Are we fighting a Komodo dragon? Possibly just a big iguana. Hungry lizard, it's a, it's a hungry lizard, but it's not that strong. I'll show you hungry. Are you hungry for a stick to your throat? <laughs> That's all I have to offer. I don't... Or beer, I guess. Oh my god, strength up. Is he just doing push-ups here? Some crunches? Just lifting weights, maybe? This is a hell of a majestic creature. <laughs> oh, god damn. <laughs> That's gotta put him down, right? They can't be that strong. There we go. There we go. Hungry lizard defeated. Serves you right for being wildlife in a 2D environment. Oh, nice. Leveled up. Six gold. Reach level two. Max HP. Physical damage. Bolt up by one. Perfect. I'm into that. Oh, and more treasure. We're going to be on heavy lookout for treasure. We're going to rake up as much treasure as possible. Rack up? Rake up? Either or. It doesn't matter. We're getting it. We're getting it in us. Wait. So I think you do actually heal between every single battle. I thought maybe that happened battle strictly before the tutorial. Ah, oh, no, wait, shit, I leveled up. That was, it was, I leveled up in between battles. That, that's what it would have been. I think this battle is going to be a little too easy to waste a skill on. Because the skill meter carried over. So that'll be pretty significant. Sometimes maybe you grind a little bit to raise your skill meter before you go into a more difficult battle. That could be a pretty legit strategy. Something to keep in mind, at least. Brew ale, experience, a little bit more gold. Oh, I saw that treasure chest. Kind of lose sight of it when you get too close, but I see ya. I gotcha. Mint lager. All kinds of ales and lager. Oh, shit, look at this. You can keep walking beyond this. No secret is safe from me. Hidden totem. Ah, uh, what do you think that'll do? Green ale. Ales affect HP and MP. Oh, I see. That was more of a general statement about things. Green ale is 50 HP. Blue is 25 MP. Revives a party member to partial health. That's going to be good to have. What about the loggers? Cures poison. And generally, they deal with status effects. Gotcha. Ooh, original blends. Do I get to brew things eventually? Man, I can't wait to become a brewmaster. Non-consumable items, often useful for quests. Old robes fit for a hero. Let's see if I live up to it. And a hidden totem found in the jungle. So I don't even have the quest or whatever the totem is actually for yet. Hopefully we find the quest, now that we have that. Okay, I got my skill loaded up. There's two of them. Perfect, since it'll attack both of them. I'm gonna go after these hungry, hungry lizards hard then. Go with the jump slash, that's the one I want. Hopefully this does as much damage as I think it will. It was kind of convenient that I happened to fight two this time. Ah, I think it'll take one regular slash each beyond that. Oh, damn it. See, they, that sort of alternating attack, synchronicity is what I'm aiming for. That's what I'd like to build up to. I just, it's kind of hard. It's kind of hard to stick up with yourself a little bit. Did I just invent a multiplayer mode for this game? Hmm. Well, let's try the elements. Group cure, a weak group curing spell, just for myself. What does it say? It costs 11 MP? That's pretty costly. I can only actually use it three times. It didn't heal as much as I thought it would either. I thought I would... I, I thought I had little enough health that that would pretty easily bring me back up to the top. Like, my max was that small. I'll probably want to be cautious about how often I end up spending MP on that. A couple more ales, experience, not quite leveling up. I would like to see if I can cast this now. 
Okay. So, I mean, I I wasted more MP and everything, but I was going to need it eventually anyways. Now I don't have to waste time within a battle. So I think it's worth to use something like that outside of battle when, when you have the chance. What's going on here? <laughs> it looked like there's a bit more of a platform. Do, do you get running jumps this game if I hold down buttons? Nah, it's my max speed. Maybe I jump from up here? Let's try and jump it. Oh, right to the edge. Perfect. Excellently, expertly well done. HP boost 5%. Is that permanent? And does that take effect Im immediately? Is that a thing I have now? Uh, there's nothing further that way. I mean, I feel like I've already found two secrets. I'm on a bit of a roll. I'm going to keep that going. I want to investigate as much as possible and try to not let any of this stuff blow me by. I see you there. None of the obvious stuff, at least. I'll probably miss the super, super hidden things now and again. There. All you have to do is walk off the edge there and slink back real quick. More ale. I'm loading up on ale. Getting just shit-faced out here. That looked like a bit bigger of a lizard up there. Now is it going to be hungry iguana, hungry Komodo? Something a little more intense than just hungry lizard with the devilish red eyes. You get your butt ready for a big old breezewood spanking. Oh shit. Plus 15? The battle hasn't even started yet and this battle's already busting out plus 15s. How am I supposed to keep up with that? Even hungrier lizard. You didn't even want to pick a synonym or anything. Starving lizard. Ravenous lizard. Just... Ah, no, he's just, he's just more. Just a little more. Oh, shit, do you know what? I'm going to shield boost. I almost kind of forgot that I had that one. I probably should have used that first thing, seeing as this thing does quite a lot of damage. But do I only block... Was it correct that it only blocks the next one attack? In that case, maybe isn't that worth it when it's only just the one of you. It negates that damage very thoroughly, but I essentially just had to skip a turn to do it. I guess that's why it's set up to shield all allies? Otherwise, you'd be screwed. Otherwise, you would get nothing out of that. So, note to self, when you're doing these one-on-ones, it's probably not particularly worth it. Oh, I thought he was going to have a bit more fight in him. Hey, level 3 already, though. Nicely done. MP, HP, physical damage, and elemental damage. Okay. Well-rounded level up, stats-wise. Yet another chest. Just, why not just... Just tucked away on the side here, hardly hidden. Do you think I go for the long jump or hug close to the wall? Would it? I'm not. I'll go for the long jump. Yep. Oh, oh. <laughs> I thought I didn't do it well and I wasn't going to make it. Well, now I'll backtrack. Oh, and of course, yet again, more secrets. I got you figured out. Attack bonus 5%. More ale. So much ale. Rock and the ale. Who, who are you there? What you doing? What you chilling? There's no place as peaceful as Moapa. It's kind of weird forest perspective conversation we're having here. Like the behind the scenes of how they filmed the Lord of the Rings to make, you know, Frodo look smaller or whatever. Not a very comfortable con conversational stance. I just wouldn't be out near the caves at night. They say a beast has taken up his home there. If you're worried about beasts, I wouldn't be out during the in anywhere during the day. Or during the night. None of it seems particularly safe. There's a Komodo dragon just eyeballing your back, your nice juicy back meat, right behind you there. It's, it's all kinds of bad. I would avoid any of it. Just stay indoors. Never leave the house, you know? Don't worry. If, if you're not going to do anything about this lizard, I'll take care of it. I recently leveled up. I'm well suited. I bet you there's some sort of stat you can level up that would be like there would be a, a similar to initiative or along those lines that makes it so that your your time bar starts more charged up it seems like mine starts about halfway up that meter oh nice we're strong enough to kill those things in two hits now that couple of levels made a big difference didn't it where where are we now moapa village south okay so we're getting close. Maybe this is Marlowe. Nah, it's just a guard. But he's he's not a, a jerk guard like the last one. The last time we talked to a guard, he was literally labeled a jerk. 
You there, new guy, huh? Mm, these borderline putting off jerk vibes. No need to pretend. I know everybody around here. Pretty braggy. Most people do, actually. I'm Joe, the helpful guard. Oh, thank goodness. I didn't want to deal with more jerks. Like those other guards, but much more helpful. I help out new guys like you. Here, take this. A crit bonus. Man, am I just... Am, do I just have all these stacked up making me that much better right now? It's a ring. Rings can boost stats, grant abilities, block status effects, and many other things. I wonder how blinged out I can get. And do they mean finger rings, or do they mean rings like what everyone has around their arms? That one I just gave you grants an additional 5% chance for a critical hit. It's pretty good, if you didn't know. Sounds good. 5% is helpful. Thank you, Helpful Joe. Rings are key to becoming a great warrior like me. And also having a positive award-winning attitude and an A-plus smile. Be sure to check out the ring shop down at Muapa Grotto. Good luck, new guy, and be sure to your friend and be sure to tell your friends about Helpful Joe. I will. I'll definitely direct people to you over jerk guards. This concludes our tutorial about rings. Well, thanks for that, Helpful Joe. I, I wouldn't mind if you popped in again at a later date to tell me more. Key items, equipment. Equipment's what I'm gonna want. The Breezewood. Physical attack damage increased by 5%. Well-crafted wooden sword. Okay, you can see my physical damage. My blocking, crit chance, all that on the right-hand side there. Cool. How many ring slots do I get? F four? Seems pretty good. I mean, for now, I can literally throw on everything I've found, which is it's decent. 5% doesn't do a whole lot when your HP is only like 40-something. But down the line, that'll definitely be helpful. Thank you. Thank you, Helpful Joe. You truly have lived up to your name. Oh, I'm gonna be hopping all over the place to try and find the next secret. I haven't found a chest in, like, a couple minutes. Who knows when the next one will be? Could be hidden on any corner. This is the entrance to Moapa Grotto. All are welcome. Oh, cool. I saw this as one wasn't sure if it was just part of the background, but the fence perspective made it look like... I, I, I do like, even though I'm sure once you enter, you'll, you'll go back to the 2D view, I do like the idea of going into the screen sometimes. Give the world more depth than just the straight, straight, flat, 100% horizontal feel. I, I was hoping there'd be a, a ledge or something that I could hop up to and find a secret. I guess there's not going to be secrets everywhere. I don't want to wander too far off, I just thought there might be treasures. No one is allowed to pass here without permission from the Sage Maya. It's for your own good, young warrior. I'll have you know. You know what? Scratch that. I am young and completely green. Don't know what I'm doing. Never fought a day in my life. Some say an evil being lives in the caves behind me. What about the caves I just came through? It feels like I just walked through some caves. Only coming out at night to feast on children. I'm not that young. I don't think so. At least I should be fine. Bernie here saw it once. Oh, yeah, it was awful. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, if you really want to go, you'll have to talk to the sage. Bernie made me think of Barney, and I, I kind of went with the a Barney thing. Uh, oh. I just realized the uh, asymmetrical character design. Very not often do games have that included. His little over-the-shoulder things are only on the one side. Usually it's just a, an asset flip, you know? Cool. Small little detail, but it's something I appreciate. All right. We've made it to the grotto. Marlo, where you at, buddy? I've been looking for you all damn day. Welcome to Moapa Grotto. Behave yourself. Yeah, okay. You don't have to tell me twice. I'm not trying to cause any trouble here. Ladies. And and, and also you fine-looking uh, gentlemen. Welcome to Moapa's best and only ring shop. I mean, it probably makes it the best then, yes. Booster ring, status ring, bonus ring, HP boost, extra good ones. Cost 300 and I only have 80. Maybe I can afford something else. Poison Strike. Worth 800. Ah, oh, man. Physical attacks have a 10% chance to inflict poison. Holy Ring. Constant regen status during battle. Oh my god, 8,500. Well, HP boost is the only one I can afford. Oh, and an MP boost. But for 5% and half my money, I think I'll put it off. Wait and see if I maybe just find something on my own that's that good. I only have one ring slot left anyways. 
bad choice, bro. You're gonna need these. No, no, no. I'm Indiana Jones in this world. I've been finding treasure left and right. I don't, I don't need anything. Lounging villager. Can't you see we're lounging right now? Yeah, I can tell. It looks like you guys are pros at it. Pro loungers. You just don't get it. I, I get it. It looks comfortable. I'll leave you to it. Didn't mean to interrupt. One day I plan on opening my own bar. Here, try a sample of one of my brews. Oh, thank you. Perfect green ale. For legal reasons, I just gave that to you as a friend. I still need somewhere to set up shop. One day I'll find a place. If you ever want to help out, feel free. Hmm. Call me the brewmaster, by the way. You don't want to have a full name? That's what my friends always call me. Well, I'm glad to chalk you up as a friend. Maybe I'll get more free beer if I have that status. I won't argue against that. I wonder if at one point she'll need an investor or something, which I don't really know if it feels 100% worth it for me. Oh man, the background in this particular village stretch is so cool. I'm looking at the, the blue platform back there, looking at how the depth moves around on that, the perspective, the bar itself, the stairs, the staircase, I almost missed that. This is all very cleverly structured to give that illusion of 3D, and it's done so well. I, it's th things that are closer, it still works, but the more depth, the better it looks and more well done overall. Aw oh, man, I wanna go in one of those super high treetop hammocks. Looks super comfortable, I wanna be there. What's going on with you, pink cape man? This house belonged to cranky old Miss Jenkins, and I'm her smug grandson, who now owns it. You sure do seem smug, with your little neck wiggle. Ha! <laughs> I'm so awesome. <laughs> He's now labeled his smug grandson. I'm willing to sell this place, but I'll be needing to make a profit off of her. How does 16,000 sound? Decline. Hard decline. I wonder, maybe there's not going to be that many different villages to explore. Maybe you always come back to Moapa and work on buying property, investing around here, rather than going town to town? How many people around here can afford this type of living? Everyone else is living in treetop hammocks and, and things like that. What do you guys got going on in the edge over here? The Grotto Guard is aware of the heavy resistance present in our home. You can say we formed a tentative alliance. I think Sage Maya sees it that any effort against the city is worthy of support. I, I'm i starting to appreciate your guys' hate a little bit more. What about you guys? You look like you're having an argument or something. I hear there's some new guy running around talking to everyone. Yeah, I heard that too. Then in the background, I'm there. No, interesting, interesting that you guys have heard that. A crazy bit of news traveling around town. Not the sort of thing people would normally talk about. Uh, I, I wouldn't think much of it. I haven't heard anything about it myself. Me, personally, you know, the long-time resident, first-time interactor. That's why you haven't seen me before. I'm just very shy. What if he tries talking to us? What if he's talking to us right now? <laughs> That's not how conversations work. Whoa! Whoa. All right, so apparently pot is legal in Moapa. <laughs> Look at this, hidden perfectly behind him. That's how I like to have my conversations. I haven't been able to visit family ever since Beckett cut itself off from the world. How some people support that crow guy is beyond me. So I guess Beckett is a bit of a central hub. I wasn't sure if Crow was going to Beckett to invade it or if that's his home base where he, where he is set up. Where? This is probably where we'll find Marlo, right? You gotta drink to forget how shitty Junior is. Have you ever heard of Beacon Fest? It's a pretty big party way up north. I plan on going one day. Sounds super great. I hadn't heard of it. More info would have been delightful. You kind of cut yourself early, but that's fine. This your first bar? It's a weird question to ask someone. Like, he's talking to me, right? Some people spend their whole lives trying to visit all the different bars across the world. Each one sells their own specialty brews. Oh, so maybe I will see different villages. You don't meet someone at a bar and be like, uh, is this your first bar you've ever been to? You know, maybe if you, they go to take a sip of their beer and they spill it all down the front of their shirt, then you ask them, oh, is that your first beer? But even then, I probably wouldn't say that to a stranger. They are quite tasty. What about you? You look like a Marlo. I'm a crazy old man. <laughs> you can call me whatever you want. <laughs> All right then, crazy old man. It was great getting to know ya. You're a real treasure. 
Bartender Jim. New guy? Name's Jim. Here, first one's in the house. Man, everyone's just dishing out the booze. I like it. This is a wonderful town. I run the best fluffin' brew house of all time. Want to see the menu? Yeah, let's take a look. Check it out. Does the menu include all liquor? There's, there's not, uh, not any food to be seen, not even remotely. The menu is strictly more of a barley sandwich type menu. Everywhere is going to have ales and lagers, but then the original blends is what's going to vary from one place to the next. Restores 20 HP and, and some MP. Increases player turn speed. Oh, would that be for the entirety of a battle? Or, or just encounter? Or just for like one short turn? Ah, maybe next time. There were other things in the menu other than just, um, there's other things in, uh, in this menu. Not the menu menu. I ask about rumors. That's what I was looking for. I was looking for a conversation opener. Rumors. Well, some people around here keep saying they hear a voice coming from the caves up in the mountains. You know, not a human voice. Some sort of monster or something. Yeah. That's about it for now. <laughs> what? Oh, and, and that guy Riley is a total cheese bowl. Yeah, but that's... Usually when you ask about rumors, people give you very detailed accounts in, in these games with tons of specifics. Those are the types of rumors you'd probably be more likely to encounter if you went asking random bartender about what he what he's heard and what the happenings is. He'd probably hear, hear some gossip. People say that things are happening and this one dude's a dick. That's about it. That's all I've heard. That's all I have to share. Welcome to the Moapa Inn. Okay, good. Looked like you were standing in a, like a standing, like a shower type thing. I'm glad I'm not interrupting that. Sorry, but it looks like all our hammocks are booked. If you check back later, there's a good chance the spot will open up. I, I, I don't want to buy that house. I just want to buy a permanent spot in one of these hammocks. I want to always have a hammock waiting for me, if that's allowed. I don't think I can, I can explore up. I can't talk to any of those people who are chilling in the trees, it doesn't look like. You guys are going to stop me from leaving, right? Because I've still somehow not even found Marlo yet. Sage Maya is currently giving a lecture to the children. You may enter, but please remain quiet while inside. Don't worry, I promise I will. I know how to be respectful. No need to tell me twice. <laughs> they just busted and start shouting, How y'all doing? Long ago, a great seed fell from the stars. The seed burrowed deep within our planet and soon grew a tree as tall as a mountain. Its leaves were composed of the elements themselves. And when the wind blew, the leaves rustled. <laughs> its spores carried the tree's gifts all across our planet. The elemental tree. Ah, is there teaching people that it's okay to be an elemental? That's a good message. I personally support that strongly. Not as strong as Magneto, maybe. In time, two powerful sorcerers did a thing. They called it magic. <laughs> I, something about them wielding it. But the two sorcerers disagreed over its purpose. One wanted magic taught to all who sought it. The other driven by power and with darkness in his heart wished to guard it as a secret. Soon, armies were formed and the Great War began. The good guys won though, right? Shut up right now, I'm talking! <laughs> no interrupting the sage! The dark sorcerer was defeated, yes. But there was no victory. The world had seen destruction unlike it ever had before. Magic's potential for good was overlooked by its ability to destroy. And g gives us more context here. And magic was all but forgotten. Let's us know why King Crows may be so against it. What happened to the elemental tree? It was destroyed shortly following the war. However, the reason I do not know. Yo, headband. Sage Maya's pretty fluffing great, huh? Hey, you got a headband too. Call me headband? Maybe because you think we have that in common? He looks like he's kind of wearing guard armor. Like the like the bad guards. Quite the outfit you got on. Once belonged to a great Moapin warrior. 
I know, because that warrior was my grandpa. Name's Marlo, if you didn't already guess. So he must have already known about the passed out dude chilling at his grandpa's house, or else he'd, he'd be a little bit more accusatory about, like, Oh, you took my grandpa's shit. This guy's got a gun. You washed up on my pop's shore. Pops might have told you I was hoping you might, that hoping you'd help me out. You know, for him saving your life and all. All you gotta do is meet me upstairs at Resistance Headquarters. That's all you gotta do, I promise. And then, you know, become recruited and become a part of the Resistance, I assume. Nothing more after that. I don't believe you, but if you insist. Doesn't seem like how these things normally go. But he seems pretty persistent about it ending there, that contract ending. The password is, this game is fun. <laughs> what game are you possibly referring to there, Marlo? I'll see you there, Flint. The uh, fourth wall breaks are very slight, very subtle, and I, I like that. I, I like that they're not hammering it and overusing it and, and all that. This temple's the last of our ancestors' monument to still be operational. In recent times, building with wood simply became cheaper. These temples became a thing of the past. Can't help but appreciate the grand nature of these structures. It does seem really cool. It does still just feel like a cave. Maybe you guys didn't really do a whole lot of structuring. Not a lot of engineering or planning there. The war Maya refers to was fought between the good sorcerer Oda and the evil Rexus. All pretty gnarly stuff. Seems real dope. I wanted to jump and sail right over these kids' domes. But talk talk to Maya directly, but you can't you can't jump. Wanted straight from the source. Um I guess Marla will become the source instead. Oh, I thought these guys would just um ask for the password and let me through. Turns out I don't know exactly where he wanted me to go. <laughs> I guess I'm gonna have to poke around and try and find him. And when we come back, I'll 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 restart the next episode once I've already found him. Seems like a pretty appropriate episode length, anyways. So hopefully you guys are interested in more of this. Not a ton of action so far. Lots of story. I uh, I think the game will overall more story than action. But if we keep having cool ass actions like this to chill out in and admire, then I'm okay with the balance tipping in that direction. I hope you guys are enjoying it as much as I am, that you enjoy that aspect of it. Thank you guys all so much for watching. I'll see you again soon.